Hi guys, my name is Ferdy Korpshoek and in this video I will show you how you can add shipping rates in your WooCommerce website based on the price and on the weight of your products. Let's go to the back end and I go to plugins, add new. And I search for easy table rate shipping. And I'm searching for this one of Gem plugins. And I click on install now. It's a free version with an upgrade to a pro version, but we don't need the pro version. I activate it. So let's go to WooCommerce settings to shipping. And here it is table rate. And I want to say enable this shipping method. Checkout title can be UPS or FedEx or how you want to call it. I call it UPS. You can have a handling fee of $2. Let's try it for a second. It is taxable and the table rates are shipping condition countries zone and name. I want to add a new one, add new shipping zone and it will be the United States. And it can be based on the weight or on the total price. Let's start with the total price. Here again, I need to select the United States. And then we can start. So the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is $49.99. What will the shipping rate be? I think $5 should be fine. I just want to illustrate it. Don't take a look at the exact numbers. I'm just illustrating how it works. So from $50 until $99.99, .99, it will be $10 of shipping rate. And from 100 and further, this icon, it means unlimited, or you could say this one, you pay nothing. So let's see how it works. Save the changes. And now I go to the cart, I go to the shop again, and I will buy a hoodie. It's $30. I go and view the cart. And based on that, it's between zero and $50. So we get a $5 shipping rate plus the $2 handling fee over here. So it will be $7. If I would say I get one more, it's 60, then it's between 50 and $100. So it should be $12 in total. So I say update cart. And now it's $12. And if I buy two more, it should be free. And then you only have the handling fee. So you could maybe say if you want to, if you want to remove the handling fee, minus two. Let's see if that works. Refresh, shipping, UPS, and there's no cost involved. So that's how it works. You can add different countries and stuff. The next thing I want to do, I want to do it based on the weight. And I want to remove this, delete, select the zones. I want to add a new one, and this time based on the total weight, the total amount of pounds. So here I say, United States and here's the country United States the weight is pounds a minimum of zero pounds and a maximum of 2,99 pounds is five dollars I add a new one which is between three pounds and 5.99 pounds is ten dollars and from six until 9.99 it is $15 and after that from 10 to infinity it is $0. I save the changes. What will happen? I have six hoodies over here. I refresh it and it costs $5. That's because we did not assign a weight to this hoodie. So I open it in a new tab by clicking here and holding command. I click on edit product. 
I scroll down and here at shipping, the weight is, let's say one pound. I don't think it's correct, but it's just for illustration purposes. I update it. So if I go to the cart and I would say I have three hoodies I want to buy based on these settings, it should be three pounds and it should be $10. So here should appear $10. I update the cart and it says $10. If I have one less, then it's a total of two pounds, which is $5. So I say update and now it's $5. And if I would say I want to buy 10, I update the card. And now there's no cost involved because I like getting big orders. And if I get big orders, I want to give people free shipping. So that's how it works with shipping. If you take a look at the total price or the amount of weight I want to thank you for watching this video. If this was valuable to you in any way, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos about internet marketing, making websites, using WordPress, using MailChimp or other stuff. My name is Freddy Korpshoek and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.